Thank you. Um, I was going to do a time lapse, but I keep forgetting they don't really work if you don't have clouds. As a photographer, I probably should should remember that. But anyway, welcome to this very quick video today. I'm answering the question that's on everyone's lips at the moment. Maybe. Which is, do you need a telephoto lens? Yes, this is a long telephoto lens, believe it or not. It's just a micro four thirds one. Therefore, it doesn't look that long. Yeah, so the question is, do you need one of these? And the very quick answer, if you haven't got very long, is, uh, well, no. No, not really. I mean, you need water, you need food, you need some sleep, and occasionally you need a cuddle. I don't think you really need a telephoto lens. I don't know how highly this ranks on, on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. School wasn't a waste of time. Okay, so I'm going to assume that we can all agree that you, you don't need a telephoto lens to, to meet your basic needs as a human being. But, that said, they do have advantages, primarily that they help you take photos of things that are, are further away. I'm going to assume that you knew that, so I'm going to talk about three other things that are kind of related, but are all reasons why I like telephoto lenses, even though you don't need them. So, as you might be able to see, there's a, a pole in the background, like a brown, rusty pole. I hope you can see it because this won't make much sense if you can't, but basically uh, I'm going to use that as a subject for this um, concept of compression because, well, there's nobody with me and I can't even find any sheep to use as subjects, which I'm a bit devastated about to be honest because I can hear them. But anyway, I've taken several photos of that brown pole, all at different focal lengths. So I took one at 24mm full frame equivalent, which is 12mm on micro four thirds. I took one at 35mm equivalent, 50mm equivalent, 70mm equivalent, 100mm equivalent, 140 mil equivalent and 200 mil equivalent. Maybe some other ones between as well. But what you might have noticed as I went through those photos is that the longer the focal length got, the closer the background looked relative to the pole. And that's what we call compression. Now you may or may not like that effect. It's completely subjective. Most people do quite like that effect, but it doesn't mean that you, you have to like it. But what isn't subjective is that it looks different to how your eyes see things, which in itself can be the start of what makes an intriguing photo. Um, so yeah, compression's the first reason I quite like telephoto lenses. Reason number two I quite like telephoto lenses is something that I'm going to call forced composition. So when I first started out in photography, like a lot of new photographers, I wanted to get pretty much everything in the frame. I'd look at a scene like this and go, oh, I quite like that mountain. Uh, quite like that house down there. Uh, I like those clouds, I like the shadows of the clouds, I like that mountain over there too. And as a result, I'd take the widest lens I had and try and get absolutely everything in the shot. And uh, I'd end up with a photo that wasn't particularly interesting. I mean, it's kind of like going to a restaurant with loads of different things you want on the menu and saying, I'm not gonna pick any of those. Can you just mix all of those things together and then give me that? It probably wouldn't be very nice. You'd have been better off choosing just one of the dishes. And having a telephoto lens kind of forces you to do that because you can't fit a load of different stuff in the frame. So you have to selectively choose what you want to take a photo of. And that practice of having to do that helps you look at scenes differently and helps you assess what you want to take images of and not just try and squeeze everything in. One of the most famous photography quotes is, if your photos aren't good enough, you're not close enough. And so quite often, particularly with beginners, if you get tighter into a scene, you can, uh, you can end up with better results. Reason number three I like telephoto lenses is uh, bad light, times like today. I say bad light, light just like compression is completely subjective. Some people like uh, harsh midday sunlight to take photos. I don't, most people don't. And if you're like me and you don't, then chances are you don't wanna be taking big wide vistas because if you do that, then the light is gonna be part of the story. And if the light's not perfect, the story or the image is, is unlikely to be perfect. No image is perfect, but you get what I mean. So in conditions like this, where there's really harsh shadows, you can probably see the really harsh shadows all over me. What I like to do is try and use longer focal lengths to make sure that I'm not including loads and loads of sky and a big wide array of really harsh shadows. Cause typically for me at least, that's not all that attractive. Right, that's pretty much a wrap for this video. Sorry it's been so short, but I'm on a bit of a tight time schedule today. So maybe you preferred it when we're not waffling on so much about sheep and all sorts. I mean, I've done that a bit, but never mind. Uh, until next time, if you've got a telephoto lens, have fun shooting with it. If you haven't, don't worry, because as we've established, you don't need one. So, 
see you later.